Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. We are going to be picking up at Saint's Bridge. Second attempt at this. For some reason my PC wants to crash. Hopefully this isn't too bad. So this episode then we are going to be dealing with High Road Cave, which is now on the map. Just for you guys to see. I had to die to, uh, to reset everything. We're also going to be dealing with the Knight on the Bridge. And unlocking the church and fast travel point over here in the village. A couple of minor bits of loot. The, there's going to be some cookbooks and an NPC invader over this way. So we're just going to get that done. Uh, so to get down there then, what I recommend doing is coming onto the bridge. Once we've done that, we can just take a right turn. You can see here, it's up to you if you want to face off against Mr. Big Helmet. Just do a nice long double jump out here. Keep on pressing forward to get into the wind tunnel. That will give you a safe landing, which is good. Uh, then what I recommend doing is coming over to the left where we'll be able to grab some loot on the way into the cave. So we just want to come all the way up and over. We'll come to a point where we can't go any further forward. You'll kind of look down and there will be a... Where are we? There will be a little camp looking thing here. Uh, this guy will have some loot on him, so grab that. And then we can come over this way to reveal the cave. <clears throat> Lantern's going to be a lifesaver in here. So let's make sure we're using that. Obviously, rest of the lost grace. We'll do that now. Obviously, I've started keeping all this stuff in. Hope you guys don't mind. I don't know how much of this you guys do or don't want to see. It's hard for me to say because obviously I haven't even released a single episode yet because I'm waiting for a certain date to uh, to get all this out because oh well, that's what the guys asked for when we were live streaming the. Uh, the preparations for this. So, we can now come over this way. Oh, I just put my souls there. How very nice of you. And we've got uh, quite a few wolves in here, so we're going to take you out from range. We've got two more going to come from the left. Come on. Come on now. There's only one left, so we're going we're gonna to save our uh, FP for now. We need to be careful about uh, FP usage in here because. Um, there are well, it, it's it's a fairly lengthy dungeon, and there's a pretty significant. Well, I don't want to say significant, but there's a boss at the end that has a decent-sized health pool, so we just need to be aware. Oops! Come on, stop that now! I forgot about the one in the in the bush that caught me out there. Uh, it's a white one again. Right, so you have to be aware of the double grab. This one's really annoying to fight. There we go. In my opinion. Oops. Oh no, that's just screwed now for this one. Oh, well, never mind. Big armored boy's gonna save me when we get to the boss. Ah, oh, I should have waited one. This is what we get for not picking a melee character. Things like this just stonewall, stonewall you. Because there's not enough time to cast. This is the issue with this, right? It doesn't stagger easily. Let's make sure we have the yeah, recovery talisman on, so we don't have to heal that. And I accidentally wasted some FP flash. It's okay. How many have we got left? Two. We can do it on two. So now, of course, we can drop down the middle here. Um, you shouldn't take damage coming down, but if you do happen to like go down the middle, it will kill you. So just be aware of that. Which, by the way, is how I killed myself. <laughs> I should not have. It's not a funny subject. So we're going to turn left here, so when you come down, obviously if you face out towards the, the inlet here, I guess it depends on which way you're looking, right? Which way is left? We're going to go this way. Cave moss. The dead end. This is where the bats are going to be. We need to be careful here. Um, I don't know, this is more wolves for now. Okay, well, we need you down there. I suppose we should at least reserve some FP. We're doing that. 
this is the left I was thinking about. I knew we had a left turn to do. So you heard the water coming from the right there. That's where we're going to be going eventually. Hello, dog. You know you're there, sir. You know you are there. And we also know you are there. There are more. There are many more. I reach you. Got the yellow wide one. It's going to be extra runage. Can't reach that one. Can reach you though. White wolf. Where are you? What are you doing? So as you can see, left path was there. This is back room. Wasn't a fan of this when we were doing it before. The good thing is we have the Shrine of Marika here, so if we die here, we can respawn pretty much straight in the room. Uh, there is a... Where is it? It's like a right turn. It was pretty much underneath where we are. It's there, look. I don't think we can reach you with spells right now. But basically, if you go under there, a lot of it's going to aggro and come at you. So don't go under there just yet. We need to kill a load of them first. Press the block, press that damage. Yeah, I still don't know where it really Oh, grab me! Get off. Not happy with you at all. There's more of them. Where are you? There's you. Waiting for us to come and spring your trap. There's still more. Where are they? Can't see them. It's not really giving me the lock on. There's a load below us, but they shouldn't aggro. Just yet. Someone come over this way. I think we should be able to reach this guy. Two in the middle. We're going to pretty much run straight past those ones. Um, so once you get down there, you're going to kind of run across the platform and then jump to the left. Loot over there, we're gonna get later. Now though, we wanna go over here. This place is crazy. Just crazy. Oh my god. Oh, let's loot. Should have restored FP. Can you just give me a second? <laughs> At least there was at least one flask for the summon. That was funny, I was picking up with me. Yeah, I'm not bothered about facing these. There is a big one in a bit, but we'll deal with that in a minute. We need to jump over for that and jump back over again. Again, if you want to farm those for the... What's, what's it called? The ovary. Feel free. And then, as you can see, we kind of need to take a running jump over there. Is it a running jump or is, or is there a ledge? I can't remember that. Pretty sure it's a running jump. This is like leap of faith levels of ridiculous. Oh my god, and I died. Okay then, so round two. Ridiculous jump. There we go. Pretty much has to be perfect. We can reach over to that one, take it out before we go across. And I suppose means we died, we now have extra flaskage, so... We don't have to rush. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't die, then maybe you have to rush. We're gonna get the Shamshir, we're gonna jump over this way. You don't really want to stop here, because there'll be more bats aggroing, if you're not careful. Don't worry about that, we're gonna get that in a minute. Up here we'll have a big um, tentacle monster. It's up to you if you want to fight it. Or we can run up behind it to grab the bit of loot. I'm going to fight it. Uh, may not be the ideal thing to do, especially if you're melee, but we have the extra flask, so... I don't heal, that's not fair.
Even though I was like playing mega fair by uh, trapping you in the in the entranceway there. Now we don't have to worry about you as we. I thought there was loot on this guy. Why do I think there was loot on that guy? Okay, yeah, that's everything. So let's go back to the piece of loot where it looked like it was on the balcony thing. I guess we could have just literally ran through there. I thought there was loot in the back end of that room. I am confused! In any case, now I'll come over here and it's going to be uh, under the waterfall. Luckily this game doesn't have any form of grip mechanic. Wait, you can actually start off with the water because you're dead there. We are on. How much have people got? 85. And my dudes. Cost is 104. Nope. <laughs> It's going to be a flask if we want him, so I'm going to go with it. Why not? Just because he's fun. He'll probably die against this. We've got a big giant boy now. But, uh, this guy is mostly as simple as attacking his ankles. That's where he takes all of his damage. Oh my god. friends like half killed him already <laughs> yeah I mean you want to keep attacking me he's gonna be the one that kills you oh on. there we go don't worry summon I got you like I don't even know if there's a need for <laughs> a need for spells, but, you know, we've got them. Guardian Golem goes down! The Blue Dance Charm. Sorts this one out. Boom! This blue screen out. Okay then, so we are respawned here. Uh, don't move in the cave or out the cave because enemies will start aggroing. The little slug things on the floor will start stopping you from able to, being able to fast travel. So we are just going to leave. Um, pick. Oh, it's up to you which direction you want to come here from. You can either come here from the, uh, the Aegeo Lake North, the Waypoint Ruins Center, or the uh, Mistwood Outskirts. I would advise the uh, waypoint runes because you get uh, like riding uh, night dudes along the road and we really don't want those interfering with what we're about to do with the black knight so we're going from here. Let's go ahead and change the time of day. I don't know if we've got enough for a level. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. If not, good. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, past time, we want it to be nightfall. If we kill this guy well, he will have well enough for a level anyways. He should be weaker than the last one we did. I didn't actually practice a cheese method for this one. I haven't really looked around. I think there's a couple like rocks and stuff around him if you want somewhere to stand that might interfere with his tracking. Have we done this yet? I don't know if we have. We probably should do that as well. The moving carriage. Maybe we'll do that after this guy. Alright, so let's get into this. Obviously, we can't do any summons for this. So, just wail in on him. I can't start that way too early. It's not even hitting him. Ouch! Oh my gosh. You still do absurd damage. Whoa. You mind? I have a real problem with the whole, like, massive stunlock stuff. We don't get anything like that. Come on. I want to go up on the hill. We're going to see... No, this is probably isn't tall enough. This might be, though.
No, don't go in a circle. We want you. Ah, oh, it's de -aggred. You don't like that, huh? It's all around. Someone's missing thing. Useful. He's definitely got enough jump to go there. Oh, he's got fucking stuff everywhere. Do this as a caster is real difficult. Have to say. Come on. There's like no situation where I get more than one pebble on you, is there? Decided it had enough. That's just cheeky. Trade it again. There's the bridge. That's really cheeky, that is. Just decided it had enough, huh? We've got the carriage coming now. Oh, nope. I guess the idea of trying to avoid. Interruptions was a bad one. Whoop. Just doesn't stay still long enough for you to hit him with anything. To get. Oh my god, we're dead now. I wonder if the R could be better. Maybe. Yeah, the arc seems to be better. So if we die, that's what we're going to switch to. Which it looks like we're going to need to do. Yeah, the wall of the isn't all there. Okay, round two, we're going to kill him. Okay then, round two. We're coming at it from the other way because it was closer. Uh, and we are going to um, Kingstone Arc it instead of Pebble. Cars seem to be hitting better, which is the main issue a lot of the time. Oh my, I say. So. Maybe it'll take his horse off that would be great. Although they seem to have like the same amount of health. Some of these enemies are just crazy, aren't they? I can't believe how much of a pain in the ass you are. Like, your moveset is just, just silly. I can't believe the turning angle. Or well, the tracking. It's just obscene. Someone hits me, I've got to heal. Ouch. <laughs> no cool damage between tanks. Oh. Oh no, I'm going to drop off now. That's bad. 
Okay then, so, after a few tries, I think we've got the method down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring him over here. Hmm? He can jump across quite easily there. Far easier than I was expecting to, actually. There we go. If we can get him down there, then he struggles. Get back up. So that's where we want him. He's in there. Back over again. No, no, no. I can hear you, please. Come on. There you go. Your friends are going to get on my nerves now, aren't they? Let's bring down this way. We need to get rid of them. We need to hard cut past you. This way, like that. There we go again. God damn it, get off the bridge! Making me miss, damn it! <laughs> of course, he gets help on the bridge this time. I got my horse! You sod! I can't believe you're in my way. Right. Do you mind? That swing real close then. Still misses. There you go, in there. Oh no, I'm gonna follow. Don't do that. Swing. I can't believe his moveset. It's ridiculous. We're going to do it there. Refuses to fall off though, doesn't it? It's got a real like hard thing that stops him doing it. Even better though. I don't even feel bad that uh, you can actually get stuck there. <laughs> there we go. Although that's kind of amazing proof that he just cannot fall off at all. Cool, so Black Knight dealt with. Uh, you guys will probably see the final version of that. Took a bit of took a bit of testing. Let's deal with the camp uh, the caravan while we're at it, because we're here. So we're gonna start this from the Waypoint and Ruins Castle. It should be pretty simple, basically. Pretty simple. We're just going to come out here with this rock sling. Just because it does that. It's probably still more efficient to use Glintstone Pebble. But we're so close to a uh, sign of grace that I don't think it's a real issue. Okay, for this one, can break his chains and start chasing you down, so... Just be aware that that is a thing. We're really not too worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and do the guy at the back. Oh, 
the only real last issue here. In fact, the main issue in general, because these are all so obscene. All of the horse enemies in this are ridiculous. Can't do that next. There we go. That does that. Which will allow us to take care of you. Send some of this through there, like that, if we want to. Bit late now, buddy. A couple of bits of loot down here, shining away. Which I assume is relative to what they're taking away. Means this is where the convoy starts. Ouch, do you mind? Oh my god. Where did you come from? Sure. I mean, you're all stuffed. With all of that done, then grab the loop from the back of the carriage. Not no surprises from you, thank you, sir. For the great axe, for the big people out there. So with that, then we can now go for the church. So we're going to trans transport to the Summon Water Village outskirts. From here we're going to mount up and basically follow the road. Pretty much it, yeah, it's pretty much road. Uh, once we get there we're going to get invaded. Uh, make sure you have rested. If you do need to. Probably should have used my runes up as well while we're at it, but we can come out this way and get some, get some fast travel points unlocked anyway. <laughs> might, be, you might even be two levels worth. Into that HP pool. We can see it! We can see it! Look! We'll get taken off the horse pretty shortly. Which is what's going to tell you that you get invaded. As far as where this always happens, so don't worry too much. There's no help though. Uh, and she is quite good at avoiding stuff. I haven't tried Roxling on her though. She's got the big, like, chef's knife thing. Um, if you're not carrying too much in the way of runes, you can just run in here and grab the loot. Yeah, for that move. Um, I just find it way easier to take down in melee, so um, I am going to try and do spells here. But as you can see, she avoids a lot of it. So, Let's see if this works out a bit better. Yeah, it does. We should use the side, at the very least. <laughs> I frame in everything I do. So yeah, it works out better in my opinion if we... Oh! Took a surprise bit sick. Oh my god! I'm gonna die now! I wanna be two-handed. And I wanna... Take a heal. So I'm gonna die. So I find it better to bait that attack she just did. And then do a jump attack back. So... Spells obviously are failing me here in all kinds of ways. We do that. It's the way I find it easiest to take her down because she's a pain in the ass in my opinion. As with any player, or any um, enemy that's fast against the mage, you might always get something in this, but you can roll straight out of it, so like, it doesn't really work out. That fast last attack there, you can get a good attack in. Probably good gun in there. Do -do -do -do. Oops. I should go for the... <laughs> it just doesn't hit. <laughs> that would have been a terrible trade for me. I'm glad they both missed. It's better than we both hit. Oh my god! 
I thought I'd got you then. Oh my gosh. It's annoying me now. You're like so close to death. So I'm just gonna miss though. Isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do. That'll do. There we go. So quite painful if you like ranged damage. Um, if you are a close combat class anyway, you'll probably wreck her in a couple of hits. Here, rest up there. Two cookbooks. I don't think they're particularly amazing, but we want them anyway. Fourteen. And cookbook. Oh, missionary's cookbook three. Uh -huh. No tier here, weirdly enough. Like a lot of the rest of the churches. So whilst we're out this way, we'll get one more waypoint. Obviously, it was going to take us to the. Entrance of Morn Camp. And you know what? It might make this episode a little long, but we're going to do it anyway. There's not much in the way of fighting left. There's one giant. Should take two minutes to kill because it's um, partly damaged anyway. So we're just going to hop over here. Grab this. There's a little bit of loot around if you want it. So we can like grab this. Nice and butterfly. There's nothing like crazy good here. It's just that we have it for convenience later. There's far more, there's far more things you can do like around here. Uh, Pop Boy is going to be in one of the dungeons around, around here, but I don't think we're in a position to be to be entering that. Magma Worm is a pain. Uh, be careful here because we're going to get a lot of enemies who just come out of the ground. It's not really even a way of noticing that they would do that. It's one of my least favorite types of traps. And there's no tell. We can't fast travel. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, reset all of this at Lost Sight of Grace. Sign of, sight of Lost Grace, should I say. Or Sight of Grace. Why do I keep saying Lost Grace? I don't even know. I made it up. So last things then, we are going to go ahead and grab the first waypoint in here. It's probably going to make this episode 30-ish minutes long. Can't quite tell. <laughs> so we're just going to head straight. I should use these echo, uh, runes up before we get in there. Two points. Yeah. We've really won endurance, though. Really need to prioritise endurance because this next enemy... <clears throat> is quite aggressive and it's just way easier if you can block his attacks and get some um, counter attacks off on him. That's basically how I beat him. <laughs> uh, between me and the and the jellyfish. So don't bother exploring any of this right now. In case you don't remember from the beginning, we're going to start getting, gonna start getting shot at. You're going to see what's shooting us in a minute. It's a big giant boy. So if you want to like come over to the right here and we'll be able to be behind this. Let's wait till we hear a blood explosion. It's worth knowing that if you press circle, you'll see it takes some stamina, but uh, it kind of gives this little dash. So just speed us up a little bit as we go forward now. I don't know if you can actually shoot the ground. You can. I don't remember whether or not it does. But as you can see, it's not exactly on full health, so. Once we get down here, it's not too much of an issue. Come on. Should be losing some stability by now, sir. Oh no, I'm going to get stomped on. Like a bug. There we go. You would, wouldn't you? Fine. Not very much to do anyway. There we are. Even as a caster, we kill that melee. I wish we could do this cast only as a game. It'd be crazy. Good. Here we are. First sight of Grace in Morn Castle. Which is where we're going to end the episode. See you guys again soon.